okay, and his eyes. And they're gonna be kind of teardroppy shaped. About the same size. Also teardroppy shaped. The bigger the eyes and pupils, the more innocent they look. Since these are like little baby Easter animals, that's what we're going for. Okay, it's nice because you can just manipulate it with your finger, and then the black. I think those look fairly even. Visualize. And um, we still need to do the fur on him, so let's get that going. There's something I'm missing. What am I forgetting? Oh, the blush. I knew there was something I was missing. He has little pink cheeks. This is the same pink. Okay, and then we need his hair because he looks kind of naked without his hair. So let's get the hair going. Now, for this, we're going to actually pipe with our rolled buttercream. So what I've got is probably about a half a cup here. And I'm going to add some water to it until it thins down. About, probably about a half a teaspoon is all I'll need. I have a crumb in here. a little bit too much okay you don't want too much because then when you pipe it will just kind of uh, it'll, bleh, it'll relax and it'll just turn into a puddle so you want it um, stiff enough that it'll hold its shape but thin enough to pipe and so the good news is that you know if you add too much water you can take some of your regular rolled buttercream and add it back in and stiffen it back up and if you don't have enough water then you just add more so It takes a little bit to get it going because of the corn syrup in the recipe. It takes a while to get that water incorporated. Corn syrup in the shortening. The mixer would probably be faster. Just don't burn out your mixer. Let's see it's starting to loosen up. It's going to be like a really stiff buttercream. Now what it's going to do is it doesn't release because of the corn syrup in it. It's very stretchy. So it's not going to release when you pipe. It's not going to, you know, when you stop, relax your hand and pull away, it's going to stretch because of the corn syrup in there. So you have to kind of wipe your tip when you're done piping. That's the only kind of difference. It is slightly stiffer than piping with, you know, regular buttercream. It's going to be because of the corn syrup, it's thicker. But it does pipe beautifully. Okay, so let's see if it's going to hold its shape. Let it, let it sit there for a few minutes and see how much it relaxes. It's looking okay. That's looking pretty good. So I've got a number nine tip in here. It's just a round, a plain round tip. You could pipe with, um, you know, your star tips and it will create the definition for you. I'm just not doing it, but maybe we will around the base if I can show it to you. Let's see how I feel. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to pipe a big swirl, like so. And we're just gonna do swirls. Okay, and see how I mean how it, it kind of stretches? So you want to kind of wipe your tip. So what I mean by that is you're going to wipe your tip. So I smear it away and smear it down there. Okay, so we're just going to continue piping every which way for our little lamb's curls. Just continue piping all the way around. And 
anywhere there's white. Okay. And that is our little lamp. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the borders on all these cakes. 